Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got my engine hanging here from my Mustang and I wanted to make a dedicated video on this because I did some looking and I couldn't find a lot. Uh, but it's just about how to hang the four liter V6 engine from Ford. They put this uh, engine in a bunch of different vehicles, uh, but um, the Mustang is one of them through 2010, I believe. And anyway, I just want to show you how I hung mine. Uh, this is not necessarily the best way. I think in the Ford manual, it actually says to hook it down on the manifold. But I like this higher anchor point here. Uh, so just for what it's worth, I'll just show you where I had this thing hooked up. So this is the front of the engine. We're standing in front of the engine right now. And right here on this uh, bracket where the power steering pump mounts and then the air, the air conditioner compressor mounts right down there. Uh, this top bolt is a really long bolt that goes all the way into the engine back there. And that one works really well for anchoring this uh, one leg of the uh, load leveler. I'd highly recommend getting one of these load levelers. Uh, you can pretty easily adjust how the engine is hanging just by cranking this handle. And uh, that actually came in pretty handy when... I was pulling the engine out. Anyway, so this is a Torin load leveler, I believe. I'll link to one in the description. I think I bought this online on Amazon for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. I can't remember, but not too bad. <clears throat> All right, on this back side of the engine then, uh, this, this one's kind of a pain to get in here, uh, but there's a spot, okay? This bolt right here goes through a bracket that is for like an electrical um, holder. I'll show you on my other engine because that still has it on it right now. Right here, you can see there's that bolt and it holds this metal tray that the wiring harness runs through. So you have to take that bolt out first and uh, that's a 13 millimeter bolt. And then you can use that bolt to anchor your second uh, chain spot. I'll show you what how long the bolt is. So there it is. So it's not, not massive, but <clears throat> seems to be working pretty fantastic. So let me know down below if you have any other thoughts on how this engine should be hung. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's putting any unnecessarily extreme amounts of uh, pressure on any of the components here. It is kind of squishing right here a little bit on this top cover, but not really much. Uh, so I think it's a fine way to hang it. So maybe you can use it and maybe it'll be helpful for you. But uh, definitely, you know, consult your manual and see if you can find a more secure way. Or if you have suggestions, like I said, link them down below or, or uh, comment down below and uh, share your opinion so that we can all find the best way to do it. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you in the next video. Please subscribe and hit that like button if this helped you out, and hit the bell icon to be notified about future videos. <coughs> all right, we gotta drop this new one in the car.